So I definitely, definitely forgot to record an intro for this video. So here I am, like, what time is it? Eight hours or so later recording the intro to this video. And I'm gotta say the makeup still looks pretty fresh. Still looking really glowy. I do not mind this at all. This is like a review. The foundation still looks like it's new. The highlight is still on point. <laughs> oh, and I changed my shirt too because it's just comfy. Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to do a makeup tutorial on this look right here. So if you want to know how to get it, then just keep on watching. Before I go in with foundation, I'm going to go in with my number 7 Beautiful Skin Day Cream. And this is the normal to oily skin cream. Just going to grab some of that on my finger and then put it on my skin. Now I'm just going to spritz my face with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. For foundation today, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I am in the shade Natural Beige. Guys, I'm so excited to be using this foundation. I've been using it for some time now and it is amazing. But I do have to say that I only apply this with my beauty blender because whenever I apply it with a kabuki brush or any other kind of brush, it does feel a little bit heavy on the skin. So when I apply it with my beauty blender, it feels amazing. And the coverage of this is so perfect and it's oil free. So it's perfect for my oily skin and I just love it. And on top of that, um, as you guys know, I just got back from Mexico and so I had to get a new foundation to match my somewhat tan skin. And the person who was matching me, she kept going darker and darker when she was picking out the shades and I was like, yes, bring it. And so this is the shade that I am now, which is about four to five shades darker than my original color. So yay for that. To highlight and conceal today, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and I'm in the shade Light Warm. I'm just going to put this under my eyes, bridge of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow, a little on my chin, and on my forehead. Just to balance out the brightness so I don't look so pale under my eyes and then tan everywhere else. And to blend all this out, I'm just going to use my Damn Beauty Blender. Before I set my face, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and the shade Enigma and I'm just going to prime my eyelids and just blend that out using my fingers. To set my face, I'm going to go in with two products. The first one is the Maybelline Loose Powder and this is in the shade Light. And for my nose, I'm going to go in with my Ofra oil control powder and I'm going to use that on the sides of my nose because I get really oily there and this has actually been helping me a lot. And it's such a nice size to just throw in your bag. And now I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be back to set the rest of my face. So, Eyebrows are done and now I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline loose setting powder and I'm just going to set my entire face. Remember your neck, so you set all that foundation that you brought down your neck. And now that my face is all set, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and just set my brows in place. Now let's move on to the eyes. For my eyes today, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And the first shade I'm going to use is the shade Nooner. And I'm just going to put that into my crease with my IT Cosmetics blending brush. 
And I'm going to really try to just put this into my crease and nowhere else. Now I'm going to take the shade Factory and put this on my outer V. And I'm going to use my M433 Morphe brush to do that. Now I'm going to take the shade Strange and just pack that on my whole eyelid leading up to that factory color. I just want that inner corner and lid to really stand out and be really bright. And I'm just using my BH Cosmetics brush number 8. Now I'm going to take that IT Cosmetic blending brush again and just blend away those edges so that they become a little bit more blended and not so separated. Now I'm going to take the shade Burnout and just apply it to the center of the eyelid. Right in between the colors Strange and Factory. And I am going to apply that with my e.l.f. contour brush. And now just taking a little bit of dust and putting it right on top of Burnout. Next I'm going to take my BH Cosmetic number 12 brush and just blend all of that out. For eyeliner today, I'm going to use my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Intense Black. Before I go in with mascara, I'm going to take Nooner and I'm going to put that right into the crease. And right on top of that, I'm going to take a, just a little bit of dark side on a smaller, more precise brush and put that also into the crease, but really lightly. I'm going to take that on my BH Cosmetic brush number 6. Then taking that BH Cosmetic brush number 12 and blending it out. To highlight the brow bone and my inner corner, I'm going to take Strange on my brow bone and then Dust on my inner corner and I'm going to drag it a little bit down to my lower lash line. Alright, now I'm going to take Nooner and I'm going to really smoke that out on the lower lash line. Like really, bring it real far. Okay, I'm going to take my Morphe M 330 brush and just really use that tapered end to blend everything out. I'm going to use my Morphe M432 brush and I'm going to take that, um, I'm going to take the shade Factory and put it tightly against my lower lash line. For mascara today, I'm going to use my Tarte lash paint and I'm going to coat my top and bottom lashes. Here's the noise in the background. My dad is watching soccer. So. Alright guys, this is the completed eye look using the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette. To contour today, I'm going to use my NYX Cheek Contour Duo Palette, and this is in the shade Double Date. For my contour brush, I'm going to use the Morphe M523 brush. I'm really going to concentrate that contour right here on the sides of my cheeks, just like right here, because I don't want it to come too far down, and then it's going to look more gray, and I don't want my face to look gray. I just want there to be a little hint of a contour and more of a bronze look, and just like that. Just make sure you have a little contour going on. Now that I have a little contour line going, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer and I'm just going to bronze up the rest of my face. And to bronze up my face, I'm going to use my Morphe E3 brush. And also up here by my temple. Just a little bit to even out the color. Just like the concealer, we don't want to be all dark just on the cheeks. We kind of want to warm up our whole face. Want to want to. <laughs> it's 
For blush today to tie into this whole kind of purple naked three eye look, I'm going to use my Jordana blush and this is in the shade Blushing Rose. And I'm going to use my Morphe E4 brush. Since I want my cheeks to have a little bit of a sheen to it, I'm going to use this um, blush from my Makeup Revolution London Ultra Blush Palette. And it is this shade right here. You guys see that? It's like a highlight but on your whole cheek. For my highlight today, I'm going to go in with Becca Champagne Pop. It's the collaboration they made with Jaclyn Hill. It's so good. It is so good. Oh my gosh. And to put that on, I'm going to use my Morphe 501 brush. And I'm going to bring it up just a tad. And I told you in one of my previous videos, I like to bring it down all the way to the apples of my cheeks just because when I smile, it gives more of a glow. And then I bring it up and I also like to put a little bit right here. And with my finger, I'm going to put some on the tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. Just a little bit on my chin though because I don't want to look like a grease ball even though... I already do. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my Morphe E3 brush and just blend away this cheek so it doesn't look like I just have a, a line of highlight going on. And since I did use a lot of powders and everything, I feel like from up close you can see how powdery I look. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild setting spray and I'm going to set my face. When you set your face with a setting spray after you've used a ton of powders or anything like that, once you set your um, face with a setting spray, it's going to let that powder kind of settle into your skin and look a lot more natural, even though this does not look natural, let's be real, but we're just going to work with it. <laughs> Plus, whenever you set your face, it makes your highlight look so much brighter. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> okay, we're almost done. I promise. Sorry, this video is... I haven't recorded in like three, I feel like three weeks, so bear with me. Lippies. Oh, lippies. Yes. <laughs> Today for lips, I'm going in with two ColourPop products and um, these are their lippy sticks and the first shade I'm going to go in with is Aquarius and this is a cream finish and it is the collaboration that Kathleen Lights made with them. Can we just take a moment and appreciate this color? It's... yes! So obviously you can just leave this lip, but I'm going to add another lippy stick on top and this is in the shade Skimpy and it is a glossy finish because I do want a little gloss to my lips. This is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys love it. I'm actually coming out with a series of the Naked palettes and I'm going to be going backwards. So I use the Naked 3 today. I'm going to use the Naked 2 in my next video. So if you guys have any looks that you want me to recreate, just let me know. This is the look I got today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys aren't already. Have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!